Dear students, in this lecture we will discuss about the chemistry of amine radical that is NH. And in this NH you are observing there are two unpaired electrons. Okay, so there are two unpaired electrons. So it is a di radical and we will study about their production, about their properties and about their nature of its ground state in this lecture. The imine free radical it has two unpaired electrons okay, and its ground state is generally triplet. Why? Because it is having the two unpaired electrons. So if uh, there are two unpaired electrons the spin will become one. Okay, So one electron will have half spin and the other will also have the half spin so that the total spin will become 1 and multiplicity will become 2s plus 1 that is 3. So it becomes 3. So its ground state is generally triplet state and high energy forms are generally singlet states. Okay. So now this free radical it can also be called as nitrine, imidogen, hydridonitrogen, azonidyl. So these are the other names of imine radical. Nitrine because this nitrine is analogous, nitrogen analog of the carbene. So it is also called as nitrine. It, it is uh, just analogous to the uh, carbene because this carbene is also having two unpaired electrons. So carbene is a di radical and this imine is also a di radical. In amino free radical, nitrogen is sp hybridized and you will see that the lone pair of electron is present in the sp hybridized orbital while these unpaired electrons they are present in the 2p orbitals that are perpendicular to each other and thus this state is triplet because it has the two unpaired electrons in the p orbitals it is a low energy state. And the high energy state you will find that the one electron pair is present in the sp hybridized orbital while one pair is present in one of the p orbitals and the other p orbital will remain empty. So this is high energy state and it is the singlet state because there is no unpaired electron in this state. So this is singlet state. Uh, this is uh, due to 2s plus 1 that is multiplicity so s is equal to 0 so multiplicity will become 1 so it is singlet state and in this case two unpaired electrons are present so multiplicity will become 3 so it is triplet state. Now we will discuss about the preparation methods of imine uh, free radical. Okay. So uh, the first method is the photolysis of isocyanic acid vapor. So this is the vapor of isocyanic acid and in presence of light it can dissociate to form imine radical. Then the second method is the photolysis of ammonia and hydrogen. So when the ammonia in presence of sunlight it can form imine free radical and H2 and while this hydrogen in presence of light it can form imine and ammonia. The next method is the photolysis or pyrolysis of chloramine. So if we if we heat this chloramine or in presence of light it can form the uh, imine free radical and HCl. Now the fourth method of preparation of imine free radical is photolysis or pyrolysis or electrical discharge of hydrozoic acid. So if we heat hydrozoic acid in a discharge tube or simply heat or we can uh, in the presence of light it can uh, form the imine free radical and hydrogen. And the other method for uh, generation of amine free radical is the thermal decomposition of ammonia at about 2000 degree centigrade. So ammonia when heated up to 2000 degree centigrade it can form amine and HCl. So these are the methods of preparation of imine free radical. Now we will discuss about the properties and reactions of imine free radical. Now we will discuss about the properties and reactions of imine radical. 
if we see the properties of amine free radical then we will find that in liquid nitrogen it is a blue solid while it is uh, paramagnetic in nature as a blue liquid blue solid okay but at uh, minus 125 degree centigrade the blue solid that is of amine radical it changes to the white crystalline solid uh, and this is the white crystalline solid is of ammonium agide. So it is so unstable even at minus 125 degree centigrade that it can convert into ammonium agide that is a crystalline white solid. Okay. Now if we see the reactions of imine free radical in gas phase the first kind of reaction it shows is the dimerization reaction. So here you can see that two molecules of this NH they join together and dimerize to form this dimer. The other kind of reaction is dimerization with rearrangement. So here first the dimerization will take place and then rearrange after rearrangement the N2 and H2 will be formed. The third reaction that shown by the imine free radical is disproportionation reaction. The disproportionation reaction which means that uh, a molecule having an uh, element with an oxidation state that can simultaneously reduce and oxidize. The oxidation state of an element will increase and will decrease simultaneously in the reaction and this kind of reaction is called a disproportionation reaction and this reaction you will find that the nitrogen is having the negative oxidation state here one negative and here it is three negative and here it is zero so minus one to zero the increase in the oxidation state and minus one to minus three there is a decrease in the oxidation state so the two processes oxidation and reduction they are taking place simultaneously here the oxidation and here the reduction simultaneously they are occurring so this kind of reaction is called as disproportionation reaction and imine radicals they show such kind of reaction then hydrogen abstraction reaction where you will find that this imine free radical it can abstract hydrogen from this hydrozoic acid so after uh, this abstraction of this hydrogen it will become NH2 free radical and N3. The fifth kind of reaction is the displacement reaction that is shown by the imine free radical and here you will find that in this reaction you will find that the uh, the NH free radical will displace its H with the nitrogen of hydrozoic acid thus form N2 and H2. These are the insertion reactions shown by the imine free radical. Here you will find that this NH uh, free radical will insert in between these two so that this product will be formed. So here the insertion of generally NH will take place. So this NH will insert here. So this NH will insert here. So insertion of this imine free radical will take place and such kind of reactions they are called as insertion reactions. One more reaction that is shown by the imine free radical is the subtraction reaction. And here you will find that uh, this imine free radical will subtract this H from uh, H and CO and form NH2 free radical and NCO free radical. Now we will conclude the lecture. Uh, we have studied about the imine free radical and it is a two uh, ele unpaired electron species and so it is a di radical and its uh, names are uh, uh, nitrine, imidogen, uh, azonidyl and hydridonitrogen and it is analogous uh, nitrogen analog of uh, carbon. It can be prepared through photolysis of isocyanic acid, ammonia, hydrogen, photolysis and pyrolysis of chloramine, photolysis, pyrolysis, electric discharge of hydrozoic acid and thermal decomposition of ammonia. Then if we see its uh, properties then in liquid nitrogen it is a blue solid while at minus 125 degrees centigrade it become a 
white crystalline solid and it converts into ammonium agide. If we see the reaction shown by this uh, imine free radical, the, it can show dimerization reaction, dimerization with rearrangement, disproportionation, hydrogen abstraction, displacement reactions, insertion reactions, and subtraction reactions. So this is all about imine free radical. Thank you very much.